Hello, welcome to another session or another video on mensuration. We are still into taking up surface areas and volumes of cuboid and cube. Under that, let me take a couple of questions here. It informs us, this is not one of the simple questions which we had taken in the last couple of videos. Oh, sorry. A room is half as long again as it is broad. That means length will be half more than the width itself. It also says the cost of carpenting the room at a rate of rupees 3.25 per square meter is rupees 175.50. And the cost of papering the wall. The walls are being papered. They at a rate of, sorry, rupees 140 per square meter is rupees 240.80. If one door and two windows occupy eight square meter, find the dimensions of the room. First of all, let's see, we have to find the dimensions of the room. I mean, the length, width, height, nothing is given. We have to find all of them. To start with, there is an information given on the length on, in, on the basis of the width. Let us assume, I write here, let us assume the width or the breadth to be x meters. Mm -hmm. The, or the whole of the question is given in meters. I'm taking it as x meter. In terms of the width, it has been explained or given in the question, and the long it will be as long again as it is broad. So the length will be x plus x by two. That would give us three x by two meters. The cost of carpenting the room. So we need to find the area of the room to find the cost of carpenting the room. So I write here the area of the room will be then length this which we had taken 3x by 2 into the width which, had ta which we had taken as x. This will be equal to, I think I better use the free hand to write because multiplication and x making a, a, a confusion. So it becomes 3x square by 2 meters square. Now this is the area of the room. This at a rate of 3.25 gives us 175.50. That is the cost of carpenting the room. So... 3, I, I can simply continue writing with the same line here. This multiplied to 3.25 per square meter should be giving us 175.50. So, so, x square will be 175.50. Multiplied by 2 divided by 3 into 3.25. 
finding this x square will be giving us 36 so x will be square root of 36 that is 6 meter that means width we got or the breadth we got to be 6 meters this is one answer we also need to find the length this is our width right now length will be 3x by 2 so length will be 3 into 6 by 2 so that's giving us 9 so length becomes 9 this is one answer but we also need to find the height to complete the dimensions of the room it also informs us the cost of papering that's papering the walls at a rate of 1.40 is this what how do we find the area of uh, four walls of a room area of four walls of a room is i'll write here area of four walls of a room will be 2 into length plus breadth multiplied by height so finding this and multiplying it with a rate of 1.40 so 2 into length is 9 width we have taken as 6 let us skip h as h because we also need to find that this multiplied to 1.40 because papering of the room will not include this one door and two windows which occupy 8 uh, square meter we also need to subtract that that is 8 square meter should be giving us 240.80 let me use some other color to distinguish between these two uh, I think here also I need to make a line now 915.2 that is 30, this 30 h, no not 30 h, this cannot be here, actually we should be writing the total area multiplied to the rate, so the total area would include this multiplied to 1.40 per square meter, that would give us, now 30 h, hmm, this is minus 8 this multiplied to 1.4 gives us 240.80 let us solve this by carrying 1.40 to the right side i will be getting 30h minus 8 is equal to 240.80 getting this down here 1.40 so 30h minus 8 is equal to 172 if we solve i'm getting it as 172 so here i continue solving so h will be 172 plus 8 that is 180 180 by 30 so this is 6 meters so we got our length breadth and height as per the question i'll just also circle this one this is height this was the length we had seen so length breadth and height we have got now we move on to take up another question i need more space so let's move on to another page let me write down the next question here I can write it down here this is a different type of question it has we need to find out the width of the wood that has been used I'm writing it says the external length breadth and height of a closed rectangular wooden box are 18 centimeters 10 centimeters and 6 centimeters respectively 
and thickness of wood is 1 by 2 centimeters. When the box is empty, it weighs 15 kg and when filled that too with sand it weighs 100 kg find the weight of the cubic centimeter of wood and cubic centimeter of sand sorry mm. yeah sand so we need to find this to let it be now it gives us the information that the thickness of the wood is given to be 1.2 centimeters so what will these are the external lengths, the length width and uh, length width and the height. So we need to find the internal length, the internal width and the height. In the internal length here we'll calculate. Then we will calculate the internal width. I'm not writing the internal here again. So it's simply internal length, width and the depth or the height we can write. Yeah. So, outer length was 18. So, this will be 18 minus 1 upon 2. Similarly, width will be 10 minus 1 upon 2. And height will be 6 minus 1 upon 2. Right? No, I think uh, I'm making a mistake here because... If I am drawing uh, this thing, the width will, the length will both side getting reduced. Oh, sorry. So, <clears throat> both side if it is getting reduced, it will be one half into two getting reduced in all these three cases. Because both sides they will reduce, right? That means this side, it will get shorter by this way. Into two. So, it is 18 minus 1 that's giving us 17 centimeter. Width will be 10 minus 1, 9 centimeter. And this will be 5 centimeters. So the internal volume of this box becomes, I'll just write down how we find it up. I write here, this is the internal volume of the box that is given by length width and height but the internal one 7 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 5 this is giving us some 765 cubic centimeter we can also find the external volumes that will actually if you subtract the external volume minus the internal volume of the box that will give us the volume of the wood that has been used so external volume of the box will be with the given dimensions that is 18 multiplied to 10 multiplied to 6 that i think is 108 and that to 0 okay and this in cubic centimeter now if we subtract these two that means subtract the external volume minus internal volume we need we will be finding out the volume of wood can be given by external volume minus internal volume external volume is 1080 and internal volume is 765 if we subtract this i think i'm getting 315 cubic centimeters Yes, I have done it right. Now, the box when empty is weighs 15 kg. 
तो लेट अस फाइंड आउट इन 315 क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर व्हाट विल बी द वुड वैल्यू द द वुड विल बी देन व्हेन दिस बॉक्स इज एम्प्टी इट वेज 15 केजी दैट मींस दिस 315 क्यूबिक सेंटीमीटर ऑफ वुड इज इक्विवेलेंट टू 15 केजीज राइट यस आई थिंक सो या सो वेट weight of this will will be like i need to just write it down though i will write here that volume of this 315 cubic centimeter is equivalent to 15 kg because that is the way of the box when it is empty so 1 cubic centimeter would weigh 15 upon 3 by 3 115 that would give me 1 by 21 kgs right okay now volume of the sand will then be equivalent to the internal volume of the box wait i'll just write it here volume of the sand will be equivalent to the internal volume of the box and how do we find the weight of the sand weight of the box filled with sand minus weight of the empty box because we also have to find the weight 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 of the sand will therefore be its weight i am writing it in short form weight of the box sorry weight of the box with sand minus weight of the box without sand or an empty box minus the empty box so it is 100 minus 15 right with with sand is 100 and empty it was 15 so this is 85 kg right correct so volume of the sand is internal volume this i can write here the volume of the sand will be 765 cubic centimeter so this is equal to 75 kg 765 cubic centimeter oh sorry i can simply write it here 765 sorry cubic centimeter is equal to 85 kg so 1 cubic centimeter will be 85 by 765 kg this if i calculate and reduce the lowest term i am getting it as 1 by 9 kg so the weight of 1 kg sorry 1 cubic centimeter of wood is 1 by 21 kg and that that of sand is 1 by 9 kg so these are our two answers as per the question we will take up uh, various different shapes other than this cuboid cuboided in the next few videos next one will be i think more of um, cylinder taken hope you enjoyed this video thank you